Are you looking for the best headphones for running in your budget? Well, in today's video, we break down the top five best headphones for running that are available on the market. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, quality, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. At number 5, Clear Audio Arc Roman 2 Sport Bluetooth 5.3. The Clear Arc Roman 2 Sport consists of two speakers that sit outside of your ear canals and project the sound into your ears without blocking out all of the external noises. Many other companies have attempted this design, and the resulting earphones severely lack bass. By contrast, the Arc Roman 2 Sport has enough bass to keep hip hop and electronic music sounding enjoyable. And you can use the Clear Plus app to adjust the EC to your preferred sound profile. The open design feels as though everyone around you should be able to hear your music, but unless you max out the volume, nobody can. When I first tried on the Arc Roman 2 Sport, I was concerned that the fit wouldn't be stable, but I jumped, shook my head, and went for a jog, and nothing budged. The true wireless design is lightweight, and I quickly forgot I was wearing earbuds at all. At number 4, JLab Go Air Sport. If you don't want to spend a ton of cash on running earbuds, either because you're new to the hobby or you jog only once in a while, the JLab Go Air Sport durable and affordable earbuds are a great option. This true wireless pair is sweat resistant with an IP55 ingress protection rating. The hook over the ear design keeps the earbuds in place, even for tricky to fit ears or folks with a super bouncy stride. Eight hours of listening time per charge is ample for most long runs and the case holds an additional three full charges. You get a full suite of touch-based controls that are reasonably simple to use while you're in motion with a little practice. At number three, Soundcore Sport X20 by Anker. The Soundcore Sport X20 has some nice upgrades over Anker's original Soundcore X10 earbuds. They include an improved design, adaptive noise cancelling, superior battery life, slightly better sound and multi-point Bluetooth pairing. Like the previous model, these have an interesting design with rotating swiveling ear hooks. They don't swivel as much as the X10's ear hooks, which is a good thing they stayed on my ears very securely. I also like that the charging case has a smaller footprint than a lot of buds with ear hooks. Fully waterproof and dustproof with an IP68 rating, the X20 has slightly larger drivers than the X10 11M instead of 10mm. As long as you get a tight seal from the included ear tips, you get five sizes. They're able to deliver good sound with punchy bass and good detail. They lack a bit of clarity. Particularly at higher volumes, there was a touch of distortion, and the noise cancelling isn't as good as Sony or Bose's noise cancelling. The buds are affordable and a good value overall. As for battery life, it's rated at up to 12 hours with noise cancelling off and 7 hours with it on. Voice calling performance is also decent, but not exceptionally good. At number 2. One more Fit CS30 Open Ear Earbuds. One more makes a couple of open sports earbuds with ear hooks. The Fit S50 Buds are the flagship $130 and feature a little better sound than the Fit CS30, have a more premium design and a fully waterproof IPX7 rating. I like the Fit a little better on the Step Downs 30, which is IPX5 splash proof can sustain a spray of water and costs half the price, making it a better value. The case is bulky and feels a little cheap, the lid is flimsy, but the buds themselves seem sturdily built and the ear hooks are nice and flexible. They have 14 2mm drivers that output decent, but not great sound there's a bit of distortion at higher volumes, which is par for the course for these types of open buds that sit on top of your ears and fire sound into them. They're also good, but not great for voice calling. A companion app for iOS and Android allows you to tweak the sound with an equalizer and you can update the buds firmware. The buds are available in black or white and offer up to 10 hours of battery life at moderate volume levels. At number one, Bose Sport Open Earbuds. Bose's Sport Open Earbuds initially gave my testers and me a little bit of trouble figuring out how to properly fit these onto our ears. Bose says to place the barrel of the earbud over the top of the ear where glasses would rest and to then rotate the earbud backward until it grips the ear well enough to stay secure. The problem was that they just felt too loose to me at first. To my surprise, though, they didn't bounce around during my run. I tried to tighten them by continuing to rotate the buds but that just made my ears hurt within 20 minutes. 
according to Bose's facts section. Even when the earbuds feel loose at first, they tend to be quite stable, so extreme tightness isn't necessary. If you do tighten the bud too much as I did, twist it forward to loosen it if it feels too tight. Once you slip the sleek hooks over your ears, press the left button, then the right to turn both on and connect. There is an auto off setting in case you forget to turn them off, but you can also press the right button once to power down. The buttons also control pour supply, skip or go back for tracks, and to adjust the volume, simply tap the center of the right earbud to increase and the left to decrease. I like that there's no need to pull out your phone. When you go to charge them, make sure the correct left and right earbuds line up with the correct sides of the charger, or they won't charge. A small white light starts to flash if correctly lined up. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and check out the description for links to updated pricing for products mentioned in the video. Until next time.